welcome back to my channel this week we're changing it up just for the week from my weekly vlogs to a fall morning routine we're talking everything my workouts get ready with me products i'm loving and healthy breakfast ideas let's get right into it Every morning I shoot to wake up between 6.30 and 7.30 a.m. Not gonna lie, most of the time it's 7 to 7.30. Isn't this Roku light so nice? Not sure why it's still stuck on happy holidays. The first thing I do every morning before working out breakfast or coffee is drinking a big glass of water. I think this helps get everything flowing and set my day up for success. The only reason I pick up my phone is to send out a good morning text and then I'm ready to get the day started. You guys know that success habit number one is that I always make my bed. There's something about checking something off of your to-do list right away in the morning that feels so satisfying and I like to make my space clean before moving on to the rest of my day. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm exhausted. Time to go back to bed. Just kidding, I wish. Let's actually get this day started. The next thing I do is to get out my workout clothes and immediately get ready for my morning workout. I have found that my days are most productive and I feel the most energized when I do my workouts in the morning. So off to the legging drawer I go. And if you guys wear leggings every single day, you seriously know the legging struggle of wiggling into your pants just to get them on right. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below because this is seriously me every single day. Next is a quick little body update. I've been working on myself a lot lately and I'm really happy with the progress that I've been making in my fitness journey and my routines lately. It's normally between 7.30 and 8 a.m. before I finally head out for a quick morning walk and my workout, but before I do any of that, I like to tidy up my space and leave my room clean. Not only making my bed, but putting my clothes away, making sure everything is hung up, and just the space is neat for when I arrive back to it later that evening. I found that it's way easier for me to do little bits of cleaning at a time rather than having a giant mess by the end of the week. All right, let's get ready. First things first, putting the hair up in a nice little ponytail to get ready for my morning workout. But wait. I just forgot that I have super long hair, so I actually need to put it into a braid, otherwise it gets caught in my armpit every single time I'm working out. Does anyone else have this struggle? This is seriously me. I find that it's a huge stress reliever to come back to a clean room and a made bed, which is why I'm looking out for my future self in the morning. All right, now it's time to actually go get that walk in. Normally I would make coffee right now before I did this, but I actually didn't do this this morning, not really sure why. So anyways, let's go get our exercise in. Today, I decided that I wasn't feeling weightlifting, so I'm heading outside for a morning run. I normally do 20 to 30 minutes, and I run two to three miles. One of my favorite exercises, super easy, and it's a list workout, which means it's low intensity, steady state, and it's really good for just building up your endurance, burning some calories in a really short amount of time, and just getting your heart rate up. So let's get that workout in. It was 91% humidity outside, and I was seriously sweating my face off. 23 minutes later, my workout's done and out of the way, and I'm ready to start the work day. But seriously, I'm so sweaty. Does anyone else sweat this bad when it's hot outside? I'm such a sweaty human. First things first is a shower. I actually used to work out after breakfast between 10 and 11 a.m., but I found that having to shower after my workout was super disruptive for my work day, so getting my workout done and my shower and everything out of the way before heading upstairs for coffee and work has been the most productive for me. I've actually fallen in love with this routine. Okay, let's head downstairs and get ourselves put together. And ready, <laughs> if only it was actually that fast. If you have super long hair and you hate brushing it when it's wet, this wet brush is amazing. This is seriously my struggle. If I had to choose one thing to get rid of in my morning routine, it would definitely be blow drying my hair. I absolutely despise blow drying my hair. Am I the only one that feels this way? But I feel so much put together after, which is why it's worth it. Oh, hey Roni, hey Rocco. Rocco's getting so big lately. Anyways, it's time to get ready. First things first is moisturizing our face. Oh. <laughs> So much for being aesthetic, my bad. Hashtag YouTuber fail. In all seriousness, I make it a priority to moisturize my skin every single morning because I'm gonna be 25 this year. Yikes, that time went by really fast. Beauty hack, always move in an upwards motion and be very careful with the under eye because it's the most delicate part of your skin. All right, lips next. I'm loving the Burt's Bees and I always put this on before I do my makeup routine because lips are skin too, you know? I'm kicking it off with the CoverGirl Loose Powder. Honestly, I've been keeping the makeup super light this year, especially with me just working at home and rarely ever going out into public and my skin has been loving it. If you're looking for some light coverage, I love the IT Cosmetic CC Cream. I'll use that if I'm actually going out into public. I do have a few pimples that still show, but I honestly don't even care. I thought I wouldn't have pimples at 25, but hey, it is what it is. All right, Maybelline's Tattoo Studio Brows is next. Honestly, I'm running out of this stuff, so it's probably not working to its optimal level, but I just applied this to my brows because I have brown hair and blonde brows and I have no idea why and it just helps darken them. I've been using Maybelline's Lash Sensation Black Mascara for years and it is seriously one of my favorites. Also running out of this otherwise 
it probably worked a little bit better, but look at the difference. I seriously love this mascara. The formula is super wet in the beginning, but you get used to it and it lasts for months. To be honest, I really don't wear makeup that often anymore, but if I do, this is what I wear. I like to keep it light and simple, and I think it looks really natural. Time to fix this hair. I don't put much heat on my hair nowadays. I literally just blow dry it and brush it out and call it a day. I have naturally pretty straight hair, but it's super wavy in the back. But hey, it is what it is, and I am all ready, set to go, and we're gonna start the day. Whoops, almost forgot to add deodorant. I also use the Thousand Wishes Body Spray from Bath & Body Works, and I love it. If this isn't you putting on body spray every single day, you're lying to everyone. <laughs> all right, it's time to get the day started. It's normally around 9 a.m. by now, and I head upstairs for coffee, breakfast, and just some time with my family, and literally, I get fouled by a parade of pets every single day, and it's one of my favorite things about living at home. Look how big Rocco has been getting. Since I'm the first one up in the morning, I'm always the one to make coffee for everyone other than my dad, who has headed off to work already, and it's actually one of my favorite routines, and I find it to be super relaxing. Also, our slop bowl is outside because the gnats are so bad this year, which is kind of annoying when we're making coffee. My new morning routine has also included fighting off Rocco, who tries to escape all the time but hey that's okay he's lucky he's kind of cute while i'm finishing up the coffee i'm thinking about what i want for breakfast in the morning as i said normally i eat after i work out in the morning around 9 a.m just because i don't wake up hungry but if i do wake up hungry i'll have like half a banana i've been on a peanut butter toast kick lately and i have no idea why so i've been having this every single day for a week with a little bit of honey drizzled on top of it and it's honestly amazing I'm the type of person that gets stuck on one breakfast item and just eats that until I get sick of it and then I move on to the next healthy breakfast item, whether it's toast, eggs, cream of wheat, you name it. I just eat the same five things as long as they're healthy and they fuel my body for the day. Today is Monday, which is my lightly penciled in cleaning day, meaning that I like to use Monday mornings to get any sort of cleaning that needs to get done. I decided that it was time to wash my bed, so I stripped that down and put it in the washer before anyone else woke up, otherwise I would be in line all day to get my bed washed. I also did a load of clothes and put that all away at the end of the day, which just made me feel super clean, happy, and ready to start the week off right. I know that I totally already made my bed, but hey, the washer was open and you gotta do what you gotta do when you live at home. When the pandemic hit last year, everyone started working from home, so we implemented a weekday coffee hour between 9 and 10 a.m. and we use that time to connect after a long day, talk about our life goals, debate about politics. Oh, and also when you whip out a camera, things get a little weird. Just doing emails. That's <laughs> all. I'm so comfortable right now. <laughs> Between 9.45 and 10 a.m., it is time for everyone to part ways and head into work for the day. My mom actually set up this home office for me back in 2020 when the pandemic hit, and it's been seriously so helpful for my productivity. First things first, I open up the handy dandy Google Chrome, and I log into my YouTube account to see if I have any new comments, any questions, and just kind of check up with everyone. I've been working so hard the past couple of months to grow my channel, to build an authentic connection with you guys, and provide you with the most value that I can. After that, it's time to make a to-do list. I seriously think to-do list helps so much with my productivity, and it helps the day feel less stressful because all you have to do is check off those boxes and your day is done and it's a super easy way to measure how productive you actually were. I spend most of my days at this office in my desk planning my content, working on my product because as you guys know I'm starting a sports bra company and just planning out some content. I love doing this, this is my passion and I'm so excited to grow this community with you. That wraps up my morning routine and thank you so much for watching. You know it's not perfect but I think the culture of waking up at 5am and grinding all day long is super toxic and I think life is all about balance. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video if you did. Bye! So one of your voyeurs saw that you wanted a dietitian to come and talk to you on your thing. I told you she watches my YouTube I watch it in the middle of the night when I don't sleep. I think that would be really fun if you came on just talk to us because I don't talk about that kind of stuff. She's not supposed to. <laughs> I just share recipes. That are my mother's. <laughs>